All right, fantastic. Let's pull that. Comment up. comes from Andrew. Do or did you have any specific desires in professional wrestling that convinced you to make the jump from MMA to professional wrestling? Well, yeah, it was always in my desires to be a professional wrestler. Um, before, like, I grew up before MMA was invented. You know, in the eighties, the UFC came out in ninety three. So. Um, I really, uh, yeah, making the jump, I don't know. It's just, it seemed, like I said before, more natural than the MMA thing. The MMA thing was honestly like, I'll probably just get my ass kicked, but I'm going to do my best and give it a shot. And then it kind of kept snowballing. Whereas, uh, the pro wrestling is a good thing to do. Like, when you come to face the fact that your best days at MMA are behind you and you're never going to be that same fighter you were in your early thirties, but my best days of pro wrestling, I think are in front of me. I just, I never thought I'm like, Oh, I'm in my forties. I'll never be doing flying elbows off the top rope. You know, it's too late and I'm doing it now and it's not that bad. So I feel like my best days are still ahead of me at 43 years old. And God bless pro wrestling. Well, I mean, I think that big, big boat, of, big boat of uh, confidence there to all wrestling. Man, what a good stamp, Steve, uh, Stephen Boner saying that you uh, thank God WWE, thank God professional wrestling. I don't watch any UFC. Man, can we get that on a T-shirt? Jesus. <laughs> well, I got I got a bunch of good matches in me. I tell you that at least about I'd say ten more years. So. Oh, there we'll you see. go. We'll hold. We'll hold you to it. 